Our series Streamline, Netflix's hit show Beef, proposes the terrifying possibility of finding your mortal enemy and how someone we've never met could change our lives for the worst. ABC's Will Gann sat down with actor Young Mazzino, who stars in the hit show, to discuss his big break and the promising career ahead of him. Yo, you done yet? I would be if you're helping me instead of flirting with the customer base. Dude, it's called client services. Do not text on the job. Who is that? Her name's Kayla. She's bad, right? This is a bot. You're a bot. Congrats on beef. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. When people ask you what the show is, how do you explain it? I would explain to them that it is, it's good enough to just enjoy without you know, you can just turn your mind off and enjoy it as a really well-made show. But if you wanted to look under the hood, you can find a whole hell of a lot of philosophical themes and, and uh, things that strike deep into the core of, of humanity. But you can also just enjoy it, too. Some of the uglier parts of humanity, I think, is a fair statement to make about what goes on in this show. What was it like for you when you read the script for the first time? I was just overcome with excitement. Um, it's not every day you get to work on something that has really good, really, really good writing. The world building, the storytelling, the intention behind everything, I, I, just from the writing I could tell that it was something special and it proved to be right. I'm about to sell my business for ten million dollars. What? Yeah. From plants? <laughs> from plants. <laughs> I would have studied plants. What does that even feel like? 10 mil? I don't know yet. Let's talk about your character, Paul. You've said that there are some similarities between Paul the character and Young the human being. Sure. Uh, what are some of those similarities? There was definitely a point in my life where I felt like a lost boy. I felt like I was in my own little world and I felt like Sisyphus in a lot of ways and that's something I think Paul really relates to. He didn't go to college, I dropped out of college. It's a struggle as a modern Korean American man to find your own identity, especially when you come from immigrant parents and there's a lot of cultural things that are lost along the way. And then trying to navigate everything Paul went to. I'm basically, Paul lived a very similar life to mine and vice versa. How do you prepare, being that there is a lot of overlap there, what was the preparation like before you became Paul? I had to kind of disorganize a lot of myself and go kind of devolve back into my former, more uh, troubled self. So I, when I moved to LA, I, I was living in like an unfurnished studio apartment. I would just go to PC gaming cafes. I just was living a very unhealthy lifestyle and I was trying to reclaim that dopamine fixation. And that was, uh, it was fun and both a little troublesome to, to go back into. Especially if you've personally done a lot of work to step away from those habits. I'm sure, sure incorporating them back into mm -hmm. your life was probably a little bit scary, maybe? Like, you know, it, it's a slippery slope, that dopamine fix. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was meta in a lot of ways, but um, it almost felt like it was like my opportunity to really face all of that and the dark sides of all, what, that, what Paul represents and approaching with empathy as, as an actor and thus unraveling that within myself and, and coming to terms with it. And I think a lot of feedback was that Paul, at a glance, could be judged so easily for a lot of reasons. But when you look at, and in general, for all the cast, for all the characters, everyone is just a product of their environment and their circumstances. So uh, it was fun to, to dive back into my own personal abyss and, and, and conjure that up again. What is it like as a Korean-American actor to be a part of this show that celebrates AAPI representation? And what is it like for you to, to watch this show soar? It is nice, if I could put it in a simple way. Um, it's refreshing. It's, we've come a long way, I think, just in terms of representation. And I, I try not to approach my craft as an Asian-American actor. I'm just an actor. but. Uh, I am aware of, of film history and going back as far as like 1920, Broken Blossoms by D.W. Griffith, which is also al al alternatively titled uh, Molly and the Yellow Man, which, and the Yellow Man is played by a, a white guy in yellow face. And, you know, you fast forward to Breakfast at Tiffany's, which is, you know, a wonderful movie, and I fell in love with Audrey Hepburn. 
and yet Mickey Rooney as Mr. Yunioshi is quite cringe to watch and that kind of casual erasure of, of, of the humanity that exists in, in me and other people that look like me. Going from there to, to where we are now, it feels good. And, but I do think that this is not the end. I think we have yet to make our own breakfast at Tiffany's, but also I just think we're past the point of being like, look at us, we are Asian American and we're good actors or we're good filmmakers. I think it's just like, we make some dope stuff and, and if you're privy to that, it's great. What is the next dope stuff that you are going to make? What's next for you, Young? Uh, there are some conversations being had, but I, it's very open-ended. And I just hope my next dope project will be just full of challenges and, and opportunity for me to grow as a human and as an actor. Can't, can't say what that would be for sure, but I um, guess we'll find out soon. Congratulations so on much. Beef. It is unhinged in the best way possible, and I, I can't wait to see what's next. Thank you. I appreciate you. One thing's for sure, it's going to be dope. Our thanks to Will for bringing us that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.